Hello, my name is Kasia Pivovar and welcome you to a virtual Pilates class. We are going to do a beginner version uh, with some intermediate exercises. Please listen to the cues and pick the version that works for your body. I will give you a different modifications for a different um, parts of the body. If you have any tension in your neck, your low back, uh, hips, knees, please listen uh, to accommodate your condition. We're going to start by loosening up the spine with the small rollbacks. We are going to be sitting with the knees bent. Hands are going to be behind the thighs to support the motion. We're going to do a cat-cow variation in a seated position. We'll begin by taking a nice inhale through the nose. Exhale, tilt your pelvis, roll off of your sits bones, holding on with your hands behind your legs until you feel your abdominals activate. Take an inhale in this position, and an exhale, crawl forward over your legs, and then shift your hands on top of your shins. Use that as leverage, lengthen up the spine, and reach beyond the crown of the head. Take another nice deep inhale through your nose, transitioning the breath into the sides and the back of the rib cage. And exhale, roll back. Hands go behind your thighs again. Your abdominals are active. Take an inhale. On an exhale, crawl over your legs, over your thighs. Shift your hands to the top of the shins and step to grow tall beyond the crown of the head. Another nice deep inhale into the sides and the back of the rib cage. Exhale, crawl the tailbone under, roll back. Hold on with your hands, take an inhale. And exhale, crawl forward over your legs, rounding the spine. Shift your hands on top of the shins and stack tall. Another nice and long inhale. And exhale, rolling back. Take an inhale here, keep your abdominals actively scooping in and underneath the ribcage. Exhale, curl yourself forward, wrapping the shoulders away from the ears. Hands transition on top of the shins. Stand the spine, lengthen through the crown of the head. We're going to sit with the legs crossed. If that is um, uh, possible, then you're going to sit with your legs in a diamond shape. It is important to maintain the neutral spine here. So if you are finding yourself tight in the hips and sitting back off of your sits bones, you must sit on the pillow. So pick the leg position. You can also keep them straight like and bent like this. I'm going to pick the variation when my legs are crossed and we're going to do a rotation. You are going to place your hand on the opposite knee other hand behind you to assist you to grow tall and we're going to rotate the spine nice and gentle and then back to center switching the opposite hand on your knee other hand behind your body behind your sacrum rotate the opposite direction and let's do one with the legs in a diamond shape if that's what you chose looking back behind you we drive in the cars. We have to be able to look what's in the back seat, right? And we want to have the mobility in the spine to do so. Lastly, if you chose your legs in front of you with the knees bent, we can also do that. So go ahead and pick the variation that works best for you. We're going to do two more here. I'm going to do this with my legs crossed. And remember, you do want to sit tall. So I encourage you to grab the pillow or fold your mat three times and then do that. Last one. And then back to center. Legs to in front. We are going to roll on your side to transition on your back. And now you're on your back. We are going to loosen up the shoulders. Knees are bent in a hook line position. This is the best position for the back. You want to feel your abdominals still engaged. You don't want to feel that your low back is lifted off the mat. You want to also notice the back of the rib cage on the mat. That is important for our next exercise. So check your abs engaged. 
back of the ribcage arm, and then your arms float up to the ceiling. Now you want to keep your arms around above the shoulder level or a little shy of that. So you want to position your hands armpit level. We don't want to go there just yet. Arms are up, first exercise, puppet arms. Fingers and thumbs together. You are going to take an inhale as you reach the our shoulders up. And on the next, you'll return the shoulders back down. Notice the shoulder blades pressing into the mat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, return the shoulder blades down. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, return. Notice your abdominals are still working, scooping in towards the floor. Inhale, up and exhale down. This is five. Following up with the uh, scissored arms. One arm goes back, the other arm goes down, but guess what? You do not want to lift the ribs up. And switch. So this is what you should avoid. See how I moved all the way back? It's not important to touch the mat. It is actually important to keep the ribs down. So abs down, back of the ribcage down, and we begin the scissored arms only move with the range of motion that it's not creating the pain in your shoulders. You're looking directly up at the ceiling, your head is supported. If you find yourself with your chin lifted up to the ceiling like this, it means that you need a pillow underneath your head to neutralize your spine. Last one, inhale one way, exhale the other, and both arms return to the ceiling. Now, both arms at the same time. Watch for elbows wanted to bend. Super straight arms and reach only as far as you keep, can keep the ribs down and then return back. So today, this is my range of motion. It may change as we move through the exercise, but notice I'm not doing this. I'm keeping my abs engaged and very important, I'm keeping my rib cage down. Also, if you find yourself the ribs popping up, you want to correct that and use your abs to keep your body very stable and just allow the arms to move. We will build on that skill. So as your arms go back on an exhale, then you open the arms and circle around. And again, with the exhale and the ribs on the mat, open circle around. So pick the range of motion that works for you. We don't want to see any motion through the neck either, so watch for that. And very important, do not bend your elbows. And up, straight arms. Let's reverse it. Out and around and back. Body is very stable. Two, and back. Three, and back. Four, and back. Five, and back. Arms return by your sides. We are going to mobilize the uh, spine next. We've been stabilizing it, so now we're going to shift gears and mobilize it a little bit. So what you want to find yourself is that your head is resting down and arms are long by your sides. You want to feel like you want to walk your fingertips towards your heels. Your heels are going to be close towards your sits bones and that's how far apart your feet are going to be. We're going to lift the pelvis up in one piece, stepping into your feet and lifting up towards the ceiling. Now from here, we're going to roll the spine first, the rib cage, tilting the pelvis, rolling the low back, and then lastly, returning the pelvis back where it was at the beginning. As you inhale, you lift. As you exhale, you roll. As you inhale, you lift, engaging in the glutes. As you exhale, you roll, scooping the abs to assist you in that roll down. Two more, and lift. Exhale, roll, rib cage, low back, pelvis. And two more, up. Exhale to roll. Back to neutral. And one more time, and lift, and roll. 
and back. We're going to start with our exercise, which is 100. And for this, we are going to curl the head up. If you have tension in your neck, I encourage you to keep your head on the pillow or two pillows. Arms to the ceiling. First, we're going to nod chin to chest a little bit and then curl up. Notice you should have space as if you were holding an orange underneath your chin. From here, we're going to fold one leg towards you and then the other. And that's the variation number one. This is when you're going to keep your legs if that's the safest position. We're going to begin to pump the arms. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. If you choose, legs to shelf into four, five, out, two, three, four, five, into, legs up to the ceiling, and out, two, three, four, five, and if you want more advanced version, you will reach to four, D, five, inhale through the nose, and exhale through the mouth, into, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five, arms are pumping hard, out, two, three, four, five, into, four, five, legs are squeezing in, into, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, your last one here, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five, and rest, hug the knees in, turn your head side to side, if your head was lifted, that will release any tension, if there is in your neck, hugging the knees towards the chest is going to round the back as well, I'm going to roll on your side and sit up, from here, we're going to follow up with the roll backs. As we did at the very beginning, you are going to be holding on the backs of your thighs. You will take an inhale as you grow tall and an exhale. You are going to tilt your pelvis and roll with your legs assisting you here only until your pelvis touches the mat. You're going to hold down with your arms or if you want more advanced version, you will let go. You're going to take an inhale here and an exhale, pull yourself forward, grabbing behind your thighs, and then stack the spine, and the slower you go, actually, the more work. Take an inhale to prepare, and an exhale, tilt your pelvis, draw chin to chest, roll off of your sits bones into your pelvis. You're going to stay here, and take an inhale, notice the low back is not touching the mat, and an exhale, crawling forward over your legs, and then stand the spine. Take another inhale, as we did before. Exhale, tilt your pelvis and roll only to your pelvis. Take an inhale, holding on or not, and then exhale, crawl forward and stretch and stack. Take an inhale here. We are going to go farther. Now we're going to roll to the low back. As we exhale, we roll down. We're going to use the hands to guide us. Then your low back will touch. Notice the rib cage is lifted. Take an inhale here, holding out or not. Exhale, crawl forward. Grab your legs, stretch and stack. Inhale as you grow tall. Exhale, tilt your pelvis two more this way, only to the low back touching. Hold or not, inhale. Exhale, slide the ribs towards the hips to curl you forward and then stand the spine. Another one, inhale and exhale. That's the last one here, rolling to the low back. Inhale, exhale, curl, 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 and then stand the spine. Three more to go. Now we roll to the rib cage level. Take an inhale. And an exhale, tilt your pelvis, roll back, articulating through your pelvis, through the low back, until you feel the ribs touching. Tips of the shoulder blades are still off the mat. Take an inhale here, holding on or not, curl forward, rounding your spine, stretch, and stack. Inhale, and exhale, roll it back. Notice the ribs on the mat. Inhale, holding on or not. Exhale, curl, 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 nice and slow, stretch and stack. Last one, inhale. And an exhale, curl the tailbone under, roll off your sits bones. Notice the pelvis, notice the low back, notice the back of the rib cage. Take an inhale here 
and then exhale, slide the ribs towards the hips to carry you forward and then stack the spine. We will do this, uh, this one more time as a transition to lie down on your back. Take an inhale here and on an exhale, tilt your pelvis, roll off of your sits bones into your pelvis, into your lower back, into the rib cage, into the tips of the shoulder blades and all the way down and stretch the legs long. Keeping the rib cage on the mat, reach the arms away. It's important to keep those ribs on because we don't want to round arch the back. Arms return. Our next exercise is a single leg circle. It's a pelvis stability exercise, so we really don't want to be moving a lot through the hips. What's going to help us here is engagement through your abdominals. We will warm up the legs for this. We will start with one leg, pick the leg, whichever one you want, hug it towards you. The other leg is long and the foot is flexed. And think of this long leg as your anchor. Notice again, your head should be uh, comfortably resting with the neck in neutral. If you are here, that puts too much strain on your neck. You need a pillow then. Please uh, notice that. Grab behind the thighs, interlace fingers, and then just straighten this leg up to the ceiling, gently pointing through the toes. Two, and back. Three, and back. Four, and back one more for five now hold that leg point and flex keeping the leg as straight as you can point if that's not available to you grab the towel and pull it with the towel this will help also if all you feel is your quad cramping up bend your knee okay now ankle circles for five four three two and one and reverse it for one two three four and five now we're going to shift your leg sideways across the body and then shift the leg to the outside of the mat notice the opposite hip should not be peeling away out and you're still supporting your leg with your hands you can very well start your circles this way across and down and around and up across and down or bring your arms down by your sides and continue the circles around notice your pelvis should be very stable upper body relax the fingertips reaching towards your leg reverse it open down and around if there's any clicking in your hip as you do that motion rotate your leg in or rotate your leg out to uh, allow that clicking to stop and your last one in that direction and then bend the knee and hug it towards you now we're going to place your foot down and slide it long and just compare the leg you just worked to the other leg it may feel like that leg is longer we'll repeat on the other side hug the opposite leg towards your chest take a nice little hug interlace fingers and stretch the leg up towards the ceiling now from here we'll point and flex, point and flex, and try to keep the foot in neutral. It may want to turn out, it may, may want to turn in. You want to strive for neutral here. Ankle circles, one and two, mobilizing at the ankles. It's very important we take the ankles for granted until we twist them, right? We want the flexibility, we want the range of motion through the joints. And now, just like before, cross it over and open. 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 We we'll begin the circle, small with support of your hands or bigger without. Softly point the toes, three, four, arms long, five. Let's reverse it. Arms are active, you're reaching away, you want to feel the length beyond the fingertips. And that completes our circle. We're going to bend the knee in towards the chest. Slowly slide your leg away. Feel the length through the hips, beyond the toes, and we're going to transition 
to the seated position for rolling like a ball. Bend your knee, roll on your side, push off the floor, that's the best way to transition, and move towards the front edge of your mat. Variation number one, and we will go through a couple of different ways of doing rolling like a ball. Tilt your pelvis, and you're going to lift your legs. First, we want to feel that opposition at work. So think of pushing the thighs away as you resist it with your arms. If that bothers you for any reason, you can do it with the feet on the floor and just stick with that. Exhale. This is a tug of war between your arms and your legs. Push it away. By doing so, you will activate the abdominals. Inhale, release. Exhale, press away as you resist it with your arms. Shoulders relaxed. You're looking down towards the navel. One more time. Press. Stay here and continue. All roll only to the shoulder blade line and then inhale. And then exhale, come up, stay here and balance. Again, the slower you go, the more work. Inhale. Exhale. Two. We'll do one more in this position. Stay at balance. If you want to advance it, bring your hands on your shins. And inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Notice I am not kicking my legs. None of this. Inhale. And exhale. Head never touches the mat. One more. Feet down. Let's transition on your side and lie down on your back. We will do single leg stretch. From here, we will start with the knees bent. Begin by hugging the one leg towards your chest. If you know the position of your hands from previous Pilates lessons, do so. Just as a reminder, the opposite hand lands on your knee, the same arm and same leg lands on the ankle. This is important because we want to keep that knee in line with the shoulder. You want to avoid rotation outwards with your leg. We want to keep it in line. This is why you're holding this way. If this is too confusing, bring both hands on your knee. We're going to curl your head up if your neck will allow it. If not, it will go on the pillow or on the ball. Extend the opposite leg away. Pull the knee towards you. It's a hip flexion and hip extension in this exercise. At the same time, we will switch. Two, we do 10 total. And three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. Hug both knees, rest your head down. Turn your head side to side. We are preparing for double leg stretch. Again, choose the, uh, to keep your head up or down. Curl your head up. Notice, you do not want the low back to peel off the floor. This is very important. Keep it down. Adjust the angle of your legs reaching away to keep the low back down. Inhale, arms and legs reach away from each other. Feet in Pilates V, arms circle, and then you pull the knees in. We'll do five of those. Two, and then notice you want to pause as you reach the arms and the legs away. And then circle out. Inhale, out, ribs on the mat, low back on the mat, and pull. One more time, out and open and pull lower your head down just like before turn your head side to side keep the knees towards your chest in a comfortable resting position lastly we're going to move into the crisscross feet are down we're going to extend the arms to the ceiling option one interlace fingers and the thumbs are going to cradle your neck like this or make a pancake with your hands one on top of the other, and then cradle your head this way. Curl up. Notice your elbows are wide. We do not want to cross them like this. We'll keep the feet on the floor, and think of the uh, rotation of the ribcage to the opposite hip. Return to center. Ribcage to the opposite hip. Keep looking at your back elbow. So we're looking back to the elbow, so make sure that it stays open. Rotation. And that's three, two more. That's the big variation. 
beginning variation, stick with this, or whichever way you turn, little death leg. Again, you're lifting and rotating, but not the elbow to your knee, you're reaching the rib cage towards your knee. And set number three, we do five total, elbows wide, and switch, one more, and rest. Keeping the arms where they are, you can do variation number one, variation number two, or variation number three, by lifting the legs in towards your chest and reaching the opposite leg away. Twist, and back two, and back, three, and back, four, and back, five, and back, look at the back elbow, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Return, feet down, open the arms out, sway your knees side to side, One more each way. Roll on your side. That's the safest way to transition and come up to the seated position. Next, we're going to move into spine stretch forward. It is a neutral pelvis exercise, so it is important to maintain that neutral pelvis position within the next two exercises or even three because we're going to add a spine twist there. So, you are sitting nice and tall with the legs about the mat width apart. Sit nice and tall means that you are maintaining your pelvis in a neutral position. We want to make sure that that's available to you. If not, you want to wrap yourself up on a pillow. Feet are flexed. We are preparing for this. Uh, legs are long, and if that's uh, in pulls on your back, then you have to bend your knees. Please do not ignore what your body is telling you. Legs straight or bent, arms up. The arms are about shoulder level, but not too high. So think of the armpit level for your arms. The arms are need to stay lifted, palms facing down. This is a seated roll down, so take an inhale to prepare. Draw chin to chest, scoop the abs back as you stretch the body forward. You're going to stay here, take an inhale, and then exhale, scoop the abs back, and then start the spine tall. Gaze is up. Inhale and exhale, drop chin to chest. Find yourself sitting tall on top of your sits bones. Inhale into the back of the rib cage. Exhale, roll back up. Take an inhale here and exhale. Scoop the abs back, stretch the spine forward. Try to reach farther, but keep the shoulders in the shoulder sockets. Inhale, exhale, roll up your spine. Exhale. Stay here, inhale, exhale, back up. One more, inhale, sit tall, fight for the tall line, exhale, take an inhale, and exhale back. Lower your arms down and bend your knees and move forward to the front edge of your mat. With your legs apart as they were for spine, stretch forward, bring your hands behind your thighs. We're prepping for open leg balance. Tilt the pelvis and roll back. We're going to keep the feet on the floor and just stretch one leg up towards the ceiling and then return it back. You want to sit nice and tall, lift it through the breast bone. Leg up one and two. And one more time this way, three and three. And now we're going to balance, tilt your pelvis and get, uh, take both feet off the floor, connecting the feet together. Knees are staying apart. Same as before, single leg balance. One and one. Take your time, be precise, point the toes, straighten your leg all the way up. And one more. Abs are engaged because this is what helps you balance now. Continue with the single leg or bring both legs at the same time, lifting through the breastbone. Return. Two, your hands are holding you behind the thighs. 
And one more time, three legs stay straight, hold, bring your legs together, bring your legs apart, bring your legs together, bring your legs apart, bring your legs together, bring your legs apart, bend the knees, return, and grab the shins and stare. From here, we are going to move into the saw prep. Your legs are going to be apart, it's a little bit wider than your mat. We're going to begin with rotation. So part number one, we're going to bring the hands behind the head, like either interlace fingers or make a pancake one on top of the other with your hands. Watch for arms sliding away or fingers losing the interlaced position. This is important. You sit nice and tall. Again, take the pillow if you need to sit taller. You're going to rotate towards, let's start towards the screen, okay? Now, you're going to reach the same elbow to the same leg in your side bend and rotation motion back to center. Rotate the other way, same elbow, same leg. Try to keep the pelvis stable. The legs should not be moving. Rotation and reach. And back, we're going to do it three times. This is set number two. And again, rotation, center. Rotation, reach, center. Same with the legs straight. Twist, reach, back to center. Twist, reach. Notice the opposite butt cheek stays down. It is not lifted. If it's lifting, you have to go to variation number one. One more. Twist, reach. Notice it's your rib cage that's rotating. And then back to center. Arms are going to go in front of your chest next. You're going to bring your knuckles to knuckle together. You're going to anchor your hands into your chest into that breastbone. You're going to keep squeezing the knuckles as you twist away from towards the screen or away from the screen. And then you're going to reach the arms away. You're going to drop your head and pose three times for one, two, three. Come back, center, bring your hands in. First, we focus on rotation. Then reach the arms away. Flip the back pommel up if you need, if you can. Drop your head. One, two, three. Back to center and repeat. Hands at the breastbone. Rotate. Try to keep the feet flexed. Reach the arms away. So the little pinky toe with your pinky finger head is dropped. Three. Stack. Return. Again, sitting tall. Rotate. Reach the arms away. The back palm lifting up. Head drops for one two, three, back to center, and in one more time, rotation, and reach, and drop the head, one, drop the head, two, drop the head, three, center, and return, one more rotation, squeeze the knuckles, reach the arms away, drop your head for one, and two, and three, and back to center. Arms lower down, we'll transition into extension. You are going to be on your stomach next. Take time, transitioning. So what we want to do here, we want to keep the legs long. If you can, you will keep your legs together. If not, you will separate the legs. From here, we're going to place one hand on top of the other. We will pancake the hands and rest the forehead on your arms. What we're going to do here, we're gonna anchor the pelvis down and we're gonna keep the abs pulling upwards. So with the pelvis heavy and the abdominals engaged, we're going to lift the kneecaps off the mat. This is relaxed through the legs, but then you want to lift the kneecaps up, anchor the pelvis, scoop the abs, and just peel the upper body away and roll back down. Imagine you're rolling the marble up with your nose and then returning back to. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Four. And back, we're moving up and away from the floor on an inhale and back. We're going to bring the arms long by your sides. Palms facing up. 
kneecaps off the mat, abs engaged, pelvis heavy, and we peel away, one. Notice I'm not looking forward, I'm still looking at the mat, two. And back, if that bothers you for any reason, return to variation number one. Last one here, and back. Bend your elbows, return, relax your back by swaying your hips side to side. From here, we're going to do swan. It's a small swan, arms in a goal post arm position, elbows about the shoulder level, palms facing up, and hands are as wide as your mat. Part number one, knee cups up, pull the abs in, and then roll the marble out and peel away, only until your elbows are still on the mat. Imagine you're pulling that mat underneath you to lengthen the spine as you return down, forehead down to the mat, kneecaps off the mat, pelvis is heavy, abs are engaged. Inhale, rolling the marble out, continue to inhale, peel away into your small swan. Exhale, lengthen beyond the crown of the head as you return down back to the mat. Inhale here and peel away, exhale, lengthen out. Two more, inhale, exhale, and one more, inhale, and exhale. From here, if you are okay with putting the weight on your knees, you're going to sit back in a child's pose. If not, you are going to lie down on your back and hug your knees. This is an active child's pose. Your arms are long, shoulders are wide. And from here, we return back on your stomach, but this time into the single leg stretch. From here, we're going to make a tripod position with your arms. We're going to interlace fingers and place your hands on the mat. Elbows are about the shoulder width apart. There's 90 degree angle at the elbow. You're looking directly at your fingers. Now, pelvis is heavy, abdominals are engaged, kneecaps are off the mat. We're going to bend and kick twice with one leg. Return the leg down, make sure the kneecaps are on the mat, pelvis is anchored, and the abdominals are hovering away from the mat. Two kicks, one, two, return. 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 One more, two kicks, return. Knee cups off, one, two, return, and rest. Sitting back into the child's pose. Again, if your knees not allow that, then lie down on your back and hug your knees in. Returning back, we're going to transition into the X lifts. For X lifts, you want to keep the arms about the mat with apart. You want to separate the legs, lower the forehead down. At the same time, the opposite arm and the leg lifts. Return, your abs are engaged, your pelvis is heavy, your kneecaps are off the mat. Switch. If that's available to you, you're going to lift your head up along for the right. And then return. We're going to do five sets. This is set number two. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Take a sip of water whenever you need to. Remember, it's important to stay hydrated. And up and back. Next, continue or lift everything together. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale, three more, two, inhaling up and down. Sit back in the child's pose, stretch. And then slowly transition on your side. We're going to turn, move into the side leg series. Go ahead and lay down on your back. Extend the bottom arm so you can rest your head on your hand. The opposite arm is going to be in front of you to remind you to engage the abdominals. Your body should be in line with the back edge of your mat so you can reach your arm back, squeeze.
scoot back a little bit. Make sure your hand and your head is not in front. Reach the arm back and lower. This is also an additional option if you prefer. Now legs are going to shift to the front edge of your mat. We want to keep the hips stacked. So you want to notice that you want to feel the bottom of the ribcage has a little mouse house underneath. You do not want to sink there because this will hike up the top hip and we want to keep it away and long. Please watch your form. Your legs are on a forward angle to the opposite end of your mat. We're going to lift and lower. It's not a big lift. Don't go super high. You're going to drop the waist and we are going to end up hiking up the hip, which we don't want. And up. we'll do 10 of those, so five, four, abs are engaged, hugging you in, three, two, one, leg stays lifted, circles one. Notice the circles are small because you don't, again, want to disturb your pelvis. Your pelvis should be stable and should not be rocking forward and back. The good the uh, idea is to keep reaching your leg away through the heel as you are circling your leg. This will assure hips staying stacked. Reversing the circles for one and two and three. You should feel work right there on top. Five, six, abs still engaged. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Return the leg down. From here, we're going to lift that leg up again, and we're just going to inward rotate and outward rotate. Inward rotate and outward rotate. Three and three, four and four. Abs engaged, five and five, six and six, seven and seven, eight and eight, nine and nine, ten and ten, and rest. And you need to sit up. Let's transition the legs the other way so you can still face the screen. Again, you want to align your body with the back edge of your mat. You want to notice your hand that you're going to rest your head on. It is in line with the back edge of your mat as well. Head down, legs forward. The opposite hand, the top hand is reminding you to engage your abdominals. You want to keep the hips stacked and make sure the bottom waist is lifted just an inch, or half an inch even. And the top leg is going to lift and lower. And the legs are forward to the opposite corner of your mat. It's a good idea to think of the top leg as the top leg reaching away. It is going to help the hips stay leveled and stacked. Abs are engaged. Three more. Two one circles small think of a small pizza that's the size of the circle you want four five six seven eight nine ten reversing the circles for one keep reaching through the heel two to the opposite corner of your mat four five abs engaged six seven eight nine and ten and the leg rests just for the moment we're going to finish up with the inward and outward rotation bottom waist lifted hip stack leg lift inward and outward rotation two three four mobility of the hips very important five six seven eight nine and ten Stack the legs. Lie down on your back. Knees are bent. The opposite ankle on the opposite knee. You're breathing like an upper form with your legs. Option one, push the knee away. This will open up your hip. Option two, grab behind the thigh of a standing leg to lift. Now notice, if this is what's happening with your neck, you need a pillow. So make sure your neck stays neutral. Also, you are going to be tempted to roll off of the leg you're holding. So make sure you stay on that side as you pull your leg in. Just breathe. Feet down, switching. Option one, placing the ankle on the opposite knee and just pushing that knee away. 
Option two, take your hands, grab behind the standing leg thigh and hold. Turn back. We are transitioning to the seated position. So roll on your side, push up the floor and sit up. We're going to be sitting into the uh, side mermaid stretch. So legs are going to be in the number four position. What you want to look for is that your knees are in a level line, not like this or like this. They should be in line. The second thing you want to check is that you are actually trying to keep that opposite hip down. The butt cheek excuse me, should be down. If it's not, sit on the pillow so you can have a feedback from something if you're lifting or not. Place your hand on the floor, opposite arm lifts to the ceiling. Bending the elbow, we side bend to the side. We come back to center. We open the arms, grab the shin and side bend the opposite way. Back down, lift, bend your elbow, side bend up to the T, switch, grab, side bend. And again, arm goes down, the opposite arm lifts to the ceiling, bend your elbow of the supported arm, back to the T, and a side bend. Great, let's do three on the other side. You don't need to face away, just transition your legs the other way. Take a moment and notice if your knees are leveled. Take a moment and notice if the opposite butt cheek is anchored. If not, put the pillow under. Position the hand on the floor. The opposite arm lifts to the ceiling. Side bend, bending your elbow. Up to the T. And stretch. Again, arm to the ceiling. Side bend. Back to the T. And side bend the other way. And again, one more this way, side stretch, and up, back to the T, and a side bend, and back. We're going to finish with seal. You're going to be sitting facing the front edge of your mat. It's another rolling exercise. The beginning position is different since the soles of the feet are going to touch each other. You're going to take your hands. You're going to bring your hands in and around your ankles. Then move the feet towards you. Tilt the pelvis. This will allow you to lift your legs. Keep your hips open. Roll back and back forward. Roll back and up. Roll back and up. Roll back and up. One more. And up. Feet down. From here, say goodbye. Have fun practicing. You can do Pilates every day. It's really helpful to keep the body moving. Till next time, bye.